Okay, this is not going to be a very long uh, pregame show at all. Sooners, second round of the NCAA tournament, West Region on Sunday. We'll play Virginia Commonwealth, the Rams from the Atlantic 10 Conference. Again, Oklahoma will have the luxury of playing just a half hour from campus at Chesapeake Arena in Oklahoma City. So obviously expect a partisan crowd um, in favor of the Sooners. Hopefully Oklahoma can take advantage of that situation. Sooners coming off the win over Bakersfield, but, you know, uh, Cal State Bakersfield, the Roadrunners, were a pesky group. The Sooners needed that strong run in the final four minutes to finally uh, put the Roadrunners away. Uh, Buddy Hill again with a big game, you know, 27 points. He was clutch, especially at the foul line in the second half. Sooners did shoot better from the free throw line in the second half after shooting very lethargic in the first. And contributions from Isaiah Cousins as well as Jordan Woodard from the field helped out and off the bench, especially in the first half from Dante uh, Buford. So the Sooners trying to make it to the Sweet 16 for the second straight year, but despite being a favorite, despite the fact uh, they went to the Sweet 16 a year ago and are playing again in Oklahoma City, you know, just a half hour from Norman, they know that VCU will not give anything to them. The, the uh, Rams coming off a uh, win as a 10th seed over 7th seeded Oregon State in a tournament that's just been flat out horrible uh, for the Pac-12, who went 2-5 and five, uh, in round number one with um, Utah and Oregon, the only Pac-12 schools to win. But Oregon State and VCU was a, a tight game throughout, and it was a game in which, you know, VCU's defense, I thought, was the most impressive part. I didn't think Virginia Commonwealth shot the ball particularly well until about the final six, seven minutes of that game, and that's when they got separation from the Beavers. The guy you got to watch out for, if you are Oklahoma, Melvin Johnson, the senior guard, averages 17 points per game. He will not hesitate to shoot threes. But remember, too, that Virginia Commonwealth, they, you know, they and Kansas are the only teams in the country to win at least 24 games each of the last 10 seasons. That's impressive. And the guards are a big reason why. This is a backcourt that feels they can match up with the Sooners. You gotta watch out for Johnson. You gotta watch out for uh, Laquan Lewis, who had 21 points in the win over Oregon State. The guards show the ability to shoot deep, but also, too, they do a good job in penetrating to the bucket, okay? Uh, these guards will not be afraid. So for the Sooners, I think it's very, very important to stay disciplined. You know, don't get in that early foul trouble. And can we see the Sooners get off to a good start? That's going to be a big key. Defensively, Virginia Commonwealth could cause problems as well because of the fact that they force turnovers, uh, 15 per game. But I think the good thing for the Sooners is the fact that I know West Virginia lost shockingly early in the tournament to Stephen F. Austin, but that doesn't take anything away from the fact that West Virginia was still one of the best defensive teams in the country, and the Sooners saw them three times. It didn't hurt as well that you went against a, a team also in Bakersfield that specialized in trapping, okay? The Sooners are no strangers to seeing teams that apply backcourt pressure. So I think this is a familiar but a good matchup for the Sooners, and I would expect them to be able to handle Virginia Commonwealth as long as, again, they get off to a decent start, and again, as long as the Sooners are disciplined. I suspect that the Sooners, although they will be challenged in this game, should be able to pull away, and I'm expecting probably an eight-point win for the Sooners over BCU. But it won't be easy, but I do expect the Sooners to move on to the Sweet 16 for Thursday. Um, and if you are curious, uh, the Sooners... If they can win on Sunday, would play in the Sweet 16 on Thursday in Anaheim, and they would play uh, the winner of the game after them on Sunday, which is Texas A&M or Northern Iowa. That's right, Northern Iowa, who knocked off Texas from the Big 12 thanks to that half-court shot um, at the buzzer. Some, some wacky stuff on Friday, but perhaps nothing wackier than that Northern Iowa-Texas finish. So, Boomer Sooner for Oklahoma, Sooners and the Rams. Second round of the NCAA West region from Oklahoma City. Tip off about 4.15 Oklahoma time. Game will be on CBS.